All right, it is a uh, Sunday. Started this project yesterday. Um, managed to get the line set connected to the outside unit last night. Um, when I connected the large one, these are just wrenched together fittings. Just you know, wrench the two pieces together, and and you're good. They're pre-vacuumed or pre-charged. When I connected the large one, got a loud squeaky noise. You could hear it releasing. Pipe got cold instantly. When I connected the small one. Um, no squeak and no temperature change in the pipe, so I'm hoping that's normal. So line set is very temporarily run right now. I will be getting line set covers here. And that is where I will be uh, mounting the brackets. Uh, my disconnect box is already there. Uh, the mounting feet on the condensing unit are 23 inches apart. As you know, wall studs are 16 inches apart, so I'm going to have to put some 2x10s across there, um, connect them to, you know, to all the studs, and then mount the mounting brackets on the 2x10s so I have uh, enough support to hold the weight of this thing. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. See you in a bit. Alright, this is what I'm going to be mounting the, uh, the mounting brackets on. Basically, I'm just transferring my lines here. Um, S equaling stud, B equaling where the 23 inches is for the bracket. I've got a pair of 2x10s here, so I just got to transfer the lines over to the next one. Um, the brackets that came with this unit came with a very nice set of concrete anchors. Unfortunately, I'm mounting mine to a wall, so they don't help me much. Um, so I happen to have an assortment of rather large lag bolts, which I'll be using to mount the boards to the, uh, to the wall and then the unit to the boards. And this is what your mounting brackets look like. Uh, they come with a couple of little pads in there. I'll probably use the pads that they came with. That's the pad that came with the, uh, the unit itself. But it's just your basic L's. So. I'll just uh, start doing what I'm doing. Just wanted to show you what that stuff looked like and what my solution is to the, uh, the problem of having a 23 inch spacing here. So, back in a bit. Alright, I got the uh, mounting bracket up. Um, my building is not incredibly level. Um, it's 1960s vintage, so it's got some issues. But um, I do have these properly spaced. They are level side to side. It does appear that I'm going to need to shim a little bit uh, for my level front to back. Um, probably about the width of a good sized washer there. But it's equal on each side, so that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So I have text messages one of my friends from work, so um, I can get a hand lifting this thing into position. And um, I guess I'm just going to take a break right now. Back in a bit. Ah, we just got the thing uh, thrown up on its brackets here. I was a bit concerned that it would be a little bit out of level front to back. However, apparently somebody thought of this in advance and the weight of the unit actually leveled it out almost perfectly for the, uh, the front to back. Um, our side to sides, uh, see the bubbles there, we're good, we're good. So all I gotta do is uh, run the wire from the disconnect, hook up the uh, control cable, which is a, uh, it's hardwired into the uh, air handler, you just gotta plug this into its little slot. And then run uh, some 12-2 from that box into that hole. And uh, this bugger will be done. So uh, back in a bit. And uh, there's a little sponsorship or whatever the hell. They ain't paying me for this crap. I'm paying for it myself. Ah, right, you have a good one. All right, just a quick shot of it with the, uh, the cover off the side. Uh, there's your quick connect for your control and air handler power. L1 and L2 for the 240 coming off a 12-2 uh, wire, ground screw, and, uh, and our gas line connections here. I'm not even going to attempt to hold this phone while I connect gas lines, so uh, I'll come back when it's done. Alright, quick install tip for you. Um, 
With the quick connect, you cannot fit it directly through that hole with the rubber gasket on it. Take the rubber gasket off, pull it over the quick connect, and then put it through and reassemble. Bye. All right, line sets are connected. I'm basically four feet of 12-2 away from having heat and air. All right, it's wired. Gas lines are hooked up, almost there. It's working. Um, tested it on both heat and cool. It's like 65 today in South Carolina, so I had to crank it down to 50. Or sorry, down to 61. Tested, it cooled. Got a little bit of vibration coming through the wall. Which, given this house, isn't too surprising. I can hear a little buzzing on the inside, but it's still quieter than the space heaters we were using with the fans. Um, heats very, very nicely. Uh, obviously, I have some line set cleanup to do. As you can see. I uh, got one of those, uh, I think it was a Senville kit, 20 foot line set cover. That'll get most of this. And uh, we'll do that next weekend. But for right now, there is heat. I'm going to bring you inside here. All right, um, inside, we have it heating to 70 degrees. Um, it actually heated up our little house here almost. Instantly after it kicked in it took a minute for it to cycle and do what it wanted to do switching over from the uh, cooling side but um, I'm standing here and I'm sweating and I have it set to 70 so I am pretty freaking happy and These little buggers here. This is what we used to heat our house with had two of these 1500 watts a piece They are gone or being safe for emergencies 